Alright guys, how's it going? Awesome Soul here. And recently, after I posted the uh, gameplay videos of the ugly bug, I got a request to show off how exactly I did the legs. I've said that they've been triforced, and people are kind of curious about that. So, I will go into another garage, and I'll show you exactly what to do. Okay, for this simple show off, I'll just be using white cubes and uh, whatever legs I have lying around. Obviously you're going to be wanting to use whichever ones you have at your disposal for your particular tier. So, the most important part of this whole thing is these three cubes here. They have to be put in this particular uh, configuration, otherwise it won't work. And let me just stick the legs on here. Um, just use tier nines, why not? <laughs> So, there we go. Alright, so, very important that these blocks aren't touching. So that's the whole point of Triforcing. See, if I did this, then damage would transfer, say if this leg got shot off, then the damage would transfer directly from here, from this block, and then to this block, and then spread out to this one and this one. So that would knock off all three at once. And the point of this configuration also is to have a nice compact design that's uh, going to be very stable, not easily flipped over. Uh, so the rest I did, I used these angled cubes here. And I went up, like so, for that one, as well as this side here. And oh, actually, no, I went like... My apologies, I'm just trying to go off memory here. So I went up like this, and then turned, and then up. So you got these nice angled platforms that uh, spread damage evenly throughout the whole uh, of your bot. So if one leg gets shot off, it's not going to transfer as easily over to these legs. Uh, as you've seen from the gameplay, or if you've watched the gameplay of the Ugly Bug, you're going to notice that if one leg gets shot off at the front, it can keep walking easily without really any problem. I've been able to walk, actually, with uh, both legs missing on one side. <laughs> yeah, it's very stable, especially uh, with obviously ones in the back, but what I was trying to get at is, um, especially when it comes to flipping, so, for whatever reason, having these legs in the front and in the back, like facing forward, uh, it sort of solves the problem of legs like trying to grip and then flip themselves back onto their back. So that's also something to think about, on top of being incredibly stable. Uh, yeah, and then from here you can do pretty much whatever you need to. You could make these taller if you needed to, or longer this way however you need to anyways hopefully you've uh, gained a good insight into how to try forest walker legs hopefully you take this information and make something cool <laughs> anyways I've been the awesome soul subscribe if you like my content more uh, informative videos on the way anyways I'll see you next time